Any discussion about Himalayan and Tibetan painting styles always becomes quite complicated and usually it's because of terminology, the terminology used in Tibetan language and the terminology used in English. In Tibetan there's there's two words uh, that are quite often associated with uh, painting styles and that's the word luk and then the other word is dri or rimo. In English we, we would look on these words as meaning more tradition and style. In Tibetan, these words tradition and style are interchangeable. You can have traditions that can, that can have uh, uh, two, three, four different styles represented by the name of that tradition. And then you can have uh, used the, the word for styles is, is the same. They, they can say style and say tradition. And, and uh, these terms are too broad. They, they, they mean too many different things and there's nothing really precise about it. So really the question for today uh, from a student is, what is the difference between a Menry style and new Menry style painting? Well, Menry style really comes from the uh, mid to slightly later uh, 15th century. New Menry is a name applied to a style started by a fellow named Chuing Jatso in the mid uh, 17th century. So we have two different founders of uh, two different styles, two different artists, and they're separated by uh, nearly uh, 200 years, 150, 200 years. Um, so, so there's a lot we don't know. Now, also, these terms, uh, Menry and New Menry, generally the, the, the term New Menry is really used in Lhasa and the Lhasa area of Tibet and those outer regions of Tibet that are influenced by the Lhasa region. The word Menry is always used from the from the 15th century up until present time, the word menry is used to refer to painting, and they do not use the word or the term new menry. New menry is a Lhasa term. So, so right away we, we have we have differences in how terms are used just within within Tibet, where these uh, different painting styles were developed. Now another another problem with the Menry is is on the Har website we actually only have seven paintings in one sketchbook. The seven paintings we're pretty confident are are of the original Menry style, and the sketchbook is actually has an inscription saying it's by Trenkawa. Trenkawa was a famous artist. Um, he may have painted for the second Dalai Lama, but he definitely painted was a painter for the third Dalai Lama. And the fifth Dalai Lama also complimented him by saying that Trenkawa was a better artist than the original uh, Menri founder, uh, Mentangpa. So Trenkawa, who was later, but was a better artist. So we have these um, seven paintings, and all of these seven paintings are either are either um, they're either 16th century or they're they're up to the mid um, uh, 17th century. Uh, and uh, claim to be in the Menry style. The the later styles, the the new Menry, are uh, begin with Chuing Jatso, and we do have examples, uh, claimed examples in Tashilumpo in the Potala Palace as murals that were painted by Chuing Jatso. We also have claims of Menry style murals done earlier in the 16th century or earlier, in in places. Um, Really, uh, Tashi Lumpo is one, um, and then we have uh, a young Pachen monastery of um, of the Shamar of the Karmakagyu. So we we do have in the history books we do have uh, mention of Menri style murals and painting, but. Today, we only have uh, seven paintings on the Har website. We have no photos of any of these temples in Tibet that claim to have Menri style, original Menri style murals. And we don't really have a lot of basis to say that there's any relationship between original Menri developed by the artist Mentangpa and the new Menri developed by the artist Choying Jatso. And, and and the remnants of what we have today, of what it's called New Menry, we have no reason to believe that these actually are the same style, although they all claim to be of the same tradition, 
which takes us back to the problem of using the words style and tradition and how they're defined.